My name's Sean D, engineer. I'm here at Signature Studios, which is my spot in North London. My kind of vision was always to sort of build my own spot where I could have multiple studios and sort of build more of a hub and uh, more of a team. So we decided to kind of go for it. I found this warehouse, we cleared it out. It was complete shell, built seven units and we're here today. I learned to engineer just by teaching myself. So it was kind of just a trial and error thing. I saw loads of Americans using Pro Tools and when I built the studio in the garage, I kind of just copied a template that I found off YouTube and uh, taught myself Pro Tools. Didn't really know what I was doing for maybe a few years. But then as you kind of do it every day and you encounter problems, you sort of come across them by learning the method behind it. So yeah, eventually maybe like six, seven years into my journey, I would say I kind of knew what I was doing as an engineer. And then I started uh, my sort of journey on mixing, which was like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing as an engineer. And I've had to relearn all the sort of methods to mixing. But I would say that one of the biggest things I learned is that there is no method and it's just trust your ears. So I used to think, oh, am I doing this right? Because I haven't been taught in a school or am I doing this right? Is this what this other engineer does? But really the, the proof is just all in the pudding. So it's just, it, if it sounds good and the end result is good, it doesn't matter how you got there. I found a spot in uh, North London, Edmonton, and I was there for seven years when I was there. I met sort of a better calibre of artists, so uh, Big Nasty, uh, Meridian Dan, uh, Black the Ripper, uh, those sort of guys. And from there, I did a tune called German Whip, which went to number 13 in the charts, which was quite a big deal at the time, and uh, for a grime song. From there, I started to get taken more seriously as a mixer, and I started to take it more seriously myself. I was renting, it was a bit of a, you know, rundown building, like, you know, a bit of a starter spot studio. And that's when I moved to 1087. So that was about, you know, four times the rent. It was a big leap for me, a big risk, but I did it. And within the first few months, I met an artist called Heady One, and he brought an artist called M. Hunt Show. M. Hunt Show brought an artist called Young Bane. Young Bane brought an artist called D-Block, and it kind of just snowfall from there, and I started doing um, that caliber of artists. Also, at the time, drill music had just become, it was a new thing. And I um, had met an artist through his manager called Dig That, and he'd done a song called Air Force, which was one of the sort of big, sort of original drill songs. And yeah, that was the sort of start of that sort of stage of my career. When I first started engineering, it was more like rap and uh, grime was what everyone was doing. And then when drill and trap became the main thing, I kind of became to a level of mixing and sort of like who I was in the scene where I could kind of establish myself as a mixer in trap and drill. And um, yeah, I think it was a bit of right place, right time. And I, I found it really exciting because um, they were sort of new sounds that I could sort of imprint my engineering on. When I came to a realization that I really wanted to improve my sound and see the uh, like limit of my capabilities, I um, thought, let me try and upgrade my setup and see if it can do that. And although I'm a believer in you, you can achieve great results with a humble setup, I do believe that now having upgraded my setup, you really see the difference, um, especially that the PMCs make in um, being able to hear the detail of the sound and making the right choices and also the balance of the sound because um, you might hear a rough mix um, on, on other speakers and think, oh, this rough mix is good. You hear them on the PMCs and you can almost straight away see where you can take that mix and how good it could sound. Now I'm kind of summing as well uh, through Rupert Neve. Um, and it's all being used through the Lynx Aurora converters. And then being able to hear that difference you, on the PMCs, it's just completely transformed the way I mix. 
I mean, it's almost makes you do less because you can hear more. I feel, feel like at different stages in my career, there have been different tracks that have kind of pivoted me and meant a lot to me. So obviously German Whip was maybe the first chart success. And then my first number one single, which was Tion Wayne um, and Russ Millian's Body. So that one meant a lot to me, which um, came out a month after we launched the studio. So that was a blessing. And then, yeah, my first number one album, which was um, Central C um, 23. Uh, yeah, that was that was a great moment as well because it's, it's the first drill albums to go, uh, drill songs to go number one, and first drill album to go number one. So, yeah, probably those three. In my career, I've had 28, uh, 29 platinum records from last week. Now, I've had number ones in maybe I think at least nine or ten countries, over twelve of them. Um, yeah, and done about seven, eight billion streams so far. But yeah, we're just, we're just getting started. <laughs> One great thing about upgrading to the PMCs was that um, when I'm showing artist mixes, uh, it kind of just blows them away to um, just show the sort of level of the sound and. Although I do think my mixes have improved, just hearing them on the PMCs alone just kind of makes them love the song more. They are the best speakers at that range, um, by far, in my opinion. And yeah, I have done some demoing because obviously it's a big sort of um, decision. And uh, yeah, the PMCs just stood out to me by far. <laughs>